I'll take that as a no. Karen Stouffer, speaking of the Ray Skillman Auto Group, she is up now on the left side. Big St. Charles Motorsports helping out as well. Great start to the season. But after Gainesville, everybody's been kind of chasing Steve Johnson. Ron Tornow, the rat, the only victory-bodied machine in the field. I love the rat pack. I mean, the way they did the T-shirts and the uniforms, I think that's cool. Yeah, one of my great regrets of, of the year so far, Mama Rat Tornow was on the starting line in Richmond, and he came up short like five ten thousandths of a second. And if he had won, she would have gone crazy. It would have been a great rat pack moment, but he'll get it. It's coming. Right now, he sits in the number 13 spot. Karen Stouffer is 16th best. Watch that American Water Heater scoreboard. This is going to give us an idea of what you can do with the motorcycle out here right now. Seven oh six, hundred and ninety one miles an hour. I am quite surprised again. Seven oh nine for Ron Tornow. Karen's gonna move up to the number eleven spot. Ron goes to the number twelve spot. Ron locking the tire up at the top end. Is he getting dirty? No. Mm. Oh, Tornow took that baby into the beach, kept it upright. Saw him go through the finish line, didn't see anything that looked very out of the norm. But then up the hill he was carrying a little extra speed, locked the front tire up at one point. Got off the brake, kept it under control, and kept it upright. That's good news. Hopefully minimal damage down there. Obviously, he has climbed off of the motorcycle. and it's Usually the best way to tell if a any race driver is injured is if they're mad. Because when you're standing down there going, oh, I did that to my motorcycle – then uh, that's that's a good sign from a health perspective. Absolutely. You know, you see you see Rat down there, and you see he's animated and moving around. And once we realize he's okay, I just start thinking about the amount of work that they now have to do to find every bit of that pea gravel out of the car and maybe in the engine. It's going to be tough. Well, the good news is, again, it stayed upright. Well, they're just going to have to drag it out of there and then kind of like golf, replace your divot. <laughs> 